Hey guys, it's Rodimus Primal. I am back with another video, and today I'm going to give you guys a real quick review for the Transformers Studio Series 86 Core Class Wheelie. I was really on the fence about getting this guy, and I really wanted to see whether or not he was worth it, because I do have the Takara Legends version as well as my G1 Wheelie figures, and uh, having one that was a little bit more accurate than the one that came with Grimlock, um, and is a lot more posable, and transforms, of course is a uh, is worth it in my opinion so i want to see if this one is is any good so let's take a look at him so without further ado let's sit back relax make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's transform and roll out <laughs> Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchase some merch on my Spring Store today. Okay, so here is Studio Series 86 Wheelie outside of the box. And taking a good look at him here, you can see how much articulation he has. You can move the arm as on a ball joint. He does have our elbow articulation. Uh, his uh, hands are painted silver, um, and there's nothing like to cover them in any other way, shape, or form. Um, he does have bend at the knee, and you can turn him like so. Part of the transformation, of course, are his feet. And his head is on a ball joint and can kind of get a good range of motion there. You know, getting a close look at his face, you can see the attention to detail that they did as well. The one thing is that when you take a look at the back of the figure, uh, this is where you start to notice uh, some of the weird choices that they made, kind of part of the transformation, uh, especially considering like this is like the back end of the vehicle and ends up being like a, a skirt that kind of comes out and back. And then, of course, it's a solid plastic piece, not clear plastic, that's painted blue, kind of trying to match the animation, but kind of works and kind of doesn't for me. Um, but I will say that the figure does look better than previous takes on the character. He comes with a small weapon, which is his slingshot, which is a welcome addition because a lot of times, like, a lot of his figures did not come with any weapons at all whatsoever, and I'll show a couple of them to you uh, in a moment. Of course, he can hold it like so, uh, which he did use in the movie, but he did not use in the cartoon. He actually used a handheld blaster uh, throughout season three. Um, and as far as standing is concerned, if you do notice, like, he kind of has a little bit of, like, you know, things to kind of keep him stable there, but, you know, he doesn't have any heel spur at all whatsoever, so, like most wheelies, you gotta kind of keep him there in order to keep him solid. And I decided to use the Studio Series 86 slag, I know it's the slug, or whatever, um, you know, in order to give you the background, because that is where where his most prominent appearance in the movie was, was at the Quintessons. And he does, his figure does come with this, which is a, um, you know, a great kind of like background to have, but the problem with this is that there is no other piece like along with this, and this is what is used to keep the figure in place. And that kind of stinks because if you wanted to use this at all for background, um, you kind of stuck with like all of the holes and stuff. So really, this is going to end up being in the trash heap. I know some people actually like to keep the Studio Series, you know, cardboard for background purposes. You know, I do have here like the art kind of background that I've made and printed and, you know, whatever I could use to try and make better looking backgrounds. And when you have an orange figure, you really can't have like an orange background. So I wanted to do that for uh, Wheelie. Just getting a look at some other figures that he compares to. Here is, I decided to actually put him next to uh, the Daniel that came with uh, Slag in order to actually see like the comparison to the previous Wheelie figure, which was this really god awful accessory. And the only real purpose to this was to attach to Studio Series 86 Grimlock. And there really wasn't much else to it. He didn't transform, he didn't do anything. So this is kind of modeled after that in order to look closer to the animation. The only thing that kind of stinks is that this particular figure does mount to Grimlock, whereas this one doesn't sit very well on him. This was actually the previous wheelie figure, was the studio, it was the, um, the Takara Legends uh, wheelie that uh, was actually a redeco to be a little bit more G1 accurate from the Titans Return wheelie. 
Uh, so this one looks a little bit different than the ones that you're probably used to. Of course, you have Netflix Bumblebee. And then, of course, G1 Bumblebee. But this is not the G1 Bumblebee that you normally have, because regular G1 uh, Wheelie actually had an orange face. And, um, you know, this is actually the reissue that came with a gray face that came with um, the Target Master Cup reissue. My original G1 Wheelie is somewhere in my collection, uh, in one of the bins. I haven't quite found him yet, but that's alright, because, yeah, I'd probably prefer it to be a gray face anyway. And uh, now looking at the fact that they've done an update to Wheelie, they've up done an update with Spike, I'd like to th see them do the same thing with Daniel, because, man, this just doesn't look very good. And since we are comparing him to how he appeared in the 86 movie, here was a scene, of course, where he's like, don't stare over there, and because Hot Rod and Cup were looking for a ship, and uh, so who is he? Well, he's Wheelie. He's a friend, uh, as he sat on Grimlock's nose after in the earlier in the movie, he had um, shot him with his slingshot. Uh, doesn't quite sit very well, so, and like I said, you really can't mount him to his back, which is kind of what the other accessory figure was made for, was to basically kind of like sit there like so, because he's supposed to be tiny. And that's what the kind of the the two like little pegs there are for with this little accessory. Whereas this figure does not have them, though he does have a little bit of gaps. I did try with the little uh, tab there, which is actually meant to keep the legs in there to stick in here. So it's not something that you're able to do with this figure, but it's kind of a disappointment, but not really, all things considered, because really what it is, it's like you just kind of want a little bit of a better wheelie figure that does transform. And so, with that said, let's actually transform him. Now here he is complete in his vehicle mode as you can see and yeah you can see the uh, hands are sticking out which is a little bit of an eyesore all things considered he does have a little bit of a weapon storage I didn't quite like didn't quite want to put it here while he was in robot mode because well it, <laughs> it's kind of the most funniest of places to actually be weapon storage uh, for him considering where it, is, where it is in robot mode, but it does work very well. It rolls quite well too, and I'm actually glad about that because sometimes you get these transformers that just don't roll very well uh, in vehicle mode. Especially when you compare him to his previous mold, uh, which you can see the vehicle mode on this one does roll, but the way that this particular figure holds together, and with the clear plastic, of course, there, you can see, like, the underside of the vehicle doesn't look very well. That's probably why they went for the solid plastic, and in also, in a way, to hide the robot head, which I want to actually flip this up, and you can see his robot head there. Um, it is very, that is kind of part of the transformation, but then from his G1 counterpart, that's his G1 car mode, and looking at the two of them together, you can see how they they it is a throwback to it as well i just the only thing is like i really wish that they had covered the hands like that is the biggest negative to this figure and also the way the hood like comes down like so uh the original car worked a little bit better as far as the transformation is concerned i know what they were trying to do they were trying to make it like kind of accurate to this but as well as accurate to the movie and kind of gave us this funky looking space car. This already was a funky looking space car, but this one works a lot better. And it's kind of like, which one do you go with? You know, if you're going for a more modern version of Wheelie. And I do think this one works, especially if you don't have this figure, you know, and or only got the one from Titan's Return. This one is a little bit better in a lot of ways, but I think this is kind of a much better I guess, car to represent this, if that's what they were going for. So really, it's a matter of personal preference. So overall, I do think this version of Wheelie kind of hits home as far as, like, a home run as far as 
Generation 1 is concern for the character. His transformation is a little weird and his car mode kind of sticks out with the source thumb with the with the the silver hands and you know the odd placement of the hood but you know the thing is is that in robot mode he's very poseable it is a you know good figure to get for something small and if you don't have a representation of g1 wheelie you know in your collection i'd say yeah go for it you may like the titans return figure uh better personally i think the takara legends is a better color scheme for that particular mold but the thing is, is that this looks more like Wheelie in robot mode than the other one does, and really it's a matter of your own personal preference. It's only a core class figure, so it's not going to be costing you an arm and a leg. So, yeah, I guess I would say it's probably worth it. Uh, but what do you guys think of uh, Studio Series 86 Wheelie? Uh, do you think he's a good figure, or do you think that... And maybe you're going to pass on him. Of course, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe. And many more Transformers discussions, retrospectives, news, reviews, and more coming down the pipeline. So stay tuned for all that. And as always, guys, until next time, till all are one.